Included in Christie's auction of Swiss art last week, the 7th to the 29th of September, were two works being sold by Unicredit, an Italian bank. Lot 10, a Jean Tingley sculpture, fetched 75,000 Swiss francs, $82,552, which, the bank says, will help fund its social impact banking initiatives. Few took notice of the niche auction, which was held online. The majority of works were sold by private collectors. But little by little businesses, and especially banks, are silently selling corporate art collections built up over many years. Deutsche Bank, which holds one of the world's largest corporate art collections, is reducing it by 4,000 pieces, says Friedhelm Hutt, head of Arts Deutsche Bank. The number of branches is becoming less and less, he says. That has had an impact on the collection. The idea of our collection has always been art at the workplace. The German bank has closed over 500 branches as banking goes digital, and has just rolled out a new, hybrid model, allowing employees to spend more time working from home. Fewer offices and bank branches equals less wall space for artworks. Or, in the case of British Airways, it is not wall space that is lacking but customers. In July, the airline sold an art collection that was gathering dust in empty first-class lounges for a sorely needed £2.2 .2 million, $2 million. Thomas Cook, a travel company, also needed the funds and recently parted with a 3,000-year-old Egyptian statue for £150,000 $195,251. Many companies are asking similar questions, team meetings, Client meeting and even board meetings are now being conducted online. Even Magic Circle law firms, renowned for keeping workers at their desks for long hours, are adopting new work from home schedules. Some banks, such as Deutsche Bank, were clearing out offices even before COVID-19 came along. Others, including Schroeder's which is expecting to close the sale of its headquarters, have introduced new home working plans. In London, where most of these firms are based, the amount of office space available for sublet has surged 21% since June according to CoStar, a commercial real estate data company. Less than half of the UK's workforce had returned to their desks before Boris Johnson said in September he was, once again asking office workers to work from home if they can. What all of this means for art collections is still unknown but it does not look good. None of the major auction houses have had a major corporate art sale since British Airways, though several in the industry say they have been conducting valuations. But selling art is not a good look for companies. Few images capture a bank eating humble pie better than the Lehman Brothers sign being carried into Christie's auction house. Then there was Abraj, the private equity group that amassed $1 billion in bad debt but still kept a £4.7 million, .2 million art collection, sold by Bonhams in 2018. Companies are wary about what image this presents.